Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode, we ran around, finally found a shovel, and killed a staggering amount of people. <laughs> Probably at least 50. Many, many, many dozens. Uh, next thing I want to do is pollinate the plants so that we can finally make those two people happy up there, and hopefully they'll give me a copy of the blueprint of the tunnels so we can finally go somewhere. I, for I forgot where we're trying to go with that, but... We need to get into the tunnels. So, pollinate. I should have equipped the weapon beforehand. Actually, before I even pollinate, I want to do something before I forget it. Uh, at some point, I think off camera, I looted a broken helmet. And Ollie can craft a fixed helmet using this. So let's see if I can make that. If I need a station for that. Ah, I don't. I can make it right now. A torch, a broken helmet, and five loose screws. Right, it's also got a... A hands-free flashlight function. I wonder how that works. I'm wearing a maid outfit. <laughs> I've got boxing shoes, a maid outfit, and a bobby helmet. I wish I could see myself from third person. Uh, yeah, so... How does the flashlight work? Uh... Normally, the way the flashlight works is you select it here in the third slot and then press F, like this. Has it appeared? Like, maybe it just appears down here? As an option? I have no idea. Oops. I have no idea. It sounds like the light's being turned on just when I equip the helmet. It could be automatic when it's dark. Oh, wait. Wait, is it on? And just weak? I think it is on. Yeah. Yeah, it is on. It's just very weak. I think a lot weaker than a normal flashlight. Definitely a lot weaker. Okay. Is it using up the durability extremely fast just using the flashlight? I think it is. Uh, can I turn off the flashlight? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> but didn't you think that was funny? Crickets. Bloody crickets. Maybe they found your blueprints by now. I wonder how effective that is at deterring enemies and killing them and whatnot. Because it looks like a particularly aggressive batch of bees. Yeah, look at this helmet. My god, it's so close to breaking already. It's already gone through like 40% of its durability. That sucks. So it's a weak helmet that runs down just about as fast as a normal flashlight? That's garbage. I'm just going to unequip it. Doesn't this water the plants? Huh. Well, the bees got a bath. But it's, um, it's a bit dark. It's under the Uncle Jack fan club. They don't like you very much. Why? We have a sort of disagreement about whether Uncle Jack's a very fine, funny fellow or a rotten, murdering, collaborationist traitor. So that's why you smash all the televisions. Roger! Manners! Have you got an escape plan for after you talk to the executive committee? Why would I need an escape plan? I'm just going to tell the executive committee what's going on in the village. They're not going to shoot the messenger, are they? Then I'll just go back to my... Home in the train station. How would I escape, anyway? Oh, I know. The parade float. It'd be ridiculous, Roger. What are you talking about? The Uncle Jack fan club. They bring a giant balloon to the Battle of Flowers Parade every year. It's enormous. It's supposed to be his head. Well, that could carry you away to... Well, wherever the winds take you. I suppose if I'm in the club anyway, I might as well grab the float. If nothing else, no one will have to look at Jack's head floating across the village on May Day. You will need quite a lot of helium to fill it. Oh, I'll jump off that bridge when I get to it. Look, 
Empty hydrogen tanks. What am I going to do with empty ones? The label, DSIR, the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. What well, you know, in all quite labs. In the parade. You think we can get the deposit back? They must have full ones there. Oh, what did I ever do to deserve you, Margaret? All right, I've got a map of the tunnel into the parade. Seems like I need to get in through the Jacobean Club. God, I hate Uncle Jack. The Jacobean Club. So that's why I couldn't do anything with it before. I need to get in there as part of the main quest. And I guess there's just a side quest once you get inside. Oh, I have 26 skill points. More health would be nice. Uh, I do want this, warrior. 5% faster attacks, less stamina, blocking costs less stamina, movement penalty while blocking is 25% instead of 50%. I do want that. Let's get proper care, weapons degrade slower. And, ah, oh, I'm one point short of that. Well, let's just get more health. And this is take less damage for most attacks. That'd be nice. It's getting to the point where there's barely any skills that I still want. That's how you know you're close to the end of the game, sort of. Just teleported over here to this shelter. Let's do some side quests. I have one here, the Quality of Mercy. I have no idea what the quest really is, because I literally got it just by running past it to the shelter. <laughs> but the description says, Judge Charles Peter, knock him out or kill him. I think it's one or the other for the knockout or kill. I suppose I don't have to kill him. 20 years is a fair long while. Maybe I'll just sneak up behind him and knock him unconscious. Nah, the Sandman just wants him to sleep forever. That is the name of the, my weapon, right? Yeah, the Sandman. Oh, I'm wearing my maid outfit. Wait, do you still hate that? Do you hate the padded suit? No, it was just residual anger. It's considered trespassing. Alright, well. This weapon is ridiculously good. Rights and having wrecked moves on. Quest complete. Double knocker, sovereigns, canteen, polarity device, enhanced rocks. Did I get skill points for that? I don't think so. Not sure how much I had, but I don't think so. Looks like there's some other quests here. And some of these seem like ones that I had as other characters, like Motlin gives you wings. Pretty sure I had that. Hive Mind definitely had that. I don't remember what the quest actually was, though. I don't know. Let's go over here and see what we have to do. You've got a bloody nerve coming in here. Leave us alone, you <laughs> oh, I feel great! You can wait down there all you like, but I'm never coming down. What's my secret? Motoline, fuel of the future. It makes you so strong. <laughs> You'll have to come down sooner or later. No, I won't. I'm going to fly away. <laughs> Motoline gives you wings. I hope he's got a parachute. I think flying is overrated. If everybody could fly, people would dream about swimming. You're not gonna fly. You're gonna come down like a sensible person, we're gonna rob you, and then you'll go on your way. We might even pump your stomach, cause we're proper decent Christian folk. The ocean has everything. Fish and octopi and such. There's nothing in the air, except clouds. And they're cold and damp. Not as invisible as you thought. <laughs> 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 
Let this be a lesson to you then. How do I talk to you? Do I have to get up there? Come on, you daft bastard. If you think you can fly, just take a run at the edge and fly off. Great idea, Ollie. I just don't get my sense of humor. <laughs> they died by falling that height? I... Seems unlikely to be lethal. Unless you, like, land right on your head or something. Ooh, I got skill points. Fifteen. That is enough for warrior. That's gonna make me get a lot better at combat, just in general. Not that I really need to be better at combat, but, you know. Right, the Motilene spill. I don't have the thing to, like, suck up the Motilene, though, like I did as Arthur. Hmm. Okay. Hive mind? Yeah. Oh, there's multiple... Multiple groups of bees. Pissed off that I just took some honey? I think so. I see you. Not anymore, you don't. For God, for Harry, and St. George. Okay. I don't feel the need to go to the dig spots. There's never anything in there that I super need. If I come across one, though, if I'm right next to it like these, then I'll get them. Let's go to the Jacobean Club. I have a feeling getting into the club is going to be an issue, because remember, on the outside there's a board in front of the club that says people who are banned, and I'm on the list. Uncle Jack fan club. I think they remember you. I suppose I'm not going in the front way. I bet we can still sneak in back. I can go in the front way just fine. I know it was you. Go forth and sin no more. Do they drop good stuff? The winning argument, multi bread, joy pills. I mean, the winning argument's good if I didn't already have an incredibly good weapon. Of course, I'm sure they're almost broken. Yeah, they don't drop anything good. If I had a fire extinguisher, I could extinguish that. <laughs> That's weird. They don't normally let you extinguish fires. There must be something special in there. Right? can't even grab the fire extinguisher, how bizarre. Why am I grabbing this shit? I don't need it. I don't need moldy bread or yet another 20th cleaver. Everything's coming up roses. Did you hear? They've caught Foggy Jack. Isn't that a relief? They seem unconcerned about me being here. I guess they're just a cook, right? Not one of the red hat people. Mm 
<laughs> Get an empty torch. Oh no, scotch. I was looting the dresser. Ugh. Did he get to be Uncle Jack? Everybody likes him, except you. Have they forgotten what he did? People are forgetting a lot of things now. Oh, I suppose they don't even know what he did to you. But how did they forget who it was on the German radio every night during the occupation? They locked him up after the victory. People don't talk about the past anymore. When did they let him out? You've forgotten things too, you know. Patience, Ollie. A bit better. I don't have time for this nonsense. Was that patient enough for you? Well, lad, this is what we trained for. I bet it's all up there. They don't need a cook. They need a maid. Where's the bloody parade balloon? You could hide the Tsar and all his relations up here, and no one's the wiser. Time to get the float out of here. Ollie! I said float. What did you think I said? We didn't come here for the float. We came here to get into the Motoline tunnels. How did we gang out of here? Find the secret passageway. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, is the, is the secret passageway in the Jacobean Club? Right. I was like, why do I need a secret passageway to get out of the Jacobean Club? I don't. <laughs> okay, oh, the secret passageway must be the fire, right? So maybe now I can use the extinguisher? When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. You want me to go up the chimney? Like Santa Claus after he's eaten up all the biscuits? Didn't you read the plans? There's a secret passage and a hatch. So every time they make a fire, they just make it in this air vent? <laughs> I knew there was a hatch here. I hope it really does go to the tunnel to Apple Home. We haven't been in the parade in a while, have we, Margaret? I hope the executive committee listens. I hope they're willing to tell people the truth. Don't forget to get some hydrogen for your float. In case it doesn't go well in the broadcast tower. I hope you're wrong, Margaret. Go to the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. Got some blueprints here. Fireman's coat. That sounds very interesting. Spiky suit? I'll give it a whirl. Fireman's coat. Fit in among wellies and resist hazards damage. Where to conform in construction areas or municipal facilities protects against fire and electricity. Hmm. So it sounds like an upgraded form of the worker's outfit that I already have. Right? It's like that where it allows me to blend into construction areas, but it also protects me. Hmm. Spiky suit. All the protection of a padded suit, but it also damages your attacker's weapons. Or if they don't have one, damages them. Also, no one will pat you on the shoulder ever again. <laughs> okay, so it's just a better padded suit. That's cool. I don't think I need it, though. And it's going to use up all of my coarse linen. So I don't think I want to make it, because it's just not that important. I'd rather save all that linen and stuff for other things. Yeah, like the fireman's coat. Or... Well, the boxing shoes take fine linen and raincoats. I keep running I out of my boxing this. shoes because I keep running a lot. Let's go deeper. 
Oh, I know where this is. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here before as Arthur. Yeah, we're in the parade district now. This is the, uh, like, model studio or something. Like, taking pictures of models. I don't know what kind of a place it was exactly. Why are there dead people here? What the hell happened? What happened here? No one seems to live here anymore. Might be a good place to camp out. Sounds like... There's a bit of an outbreak. I want to make sure to loot this place, too. It seems to have a lot of fabric, and that stuff's pretty rare. They just die on their own? From what? Lay still, you bastard. doing in my playhouse? Margaret. Uh, I was, uh, uh, it was raining. Your legs are all wet. They shot you. You ran and they shot you. You're still drunk. Are you going to haunt me? Do you want me to go away? No, no, please don't. I think you're sitting on Helga. Sorry, Helga. I almost finished her. She's ever so upset about her apron. She likes everything to be just so. Could you finish her for me? Duct tape? It's actually something useful for me. Look at that weird reflection in this mirror. It's like almost completely matte. You can barely see anything, but I can just see the tiniest hint of the Sandman. Not my own body, but just the weapon and, like, sort of a tiny bit of my hands. It's very odd. Oh, that's where I came from, the photo studio. Oh, yeah. look at all the pretty clothes. I feel like one of these models might actually be alive and they're gonna start moving any second. <laughs> it's very nice that they did something different playing as Ollie, where this whole parade district is completely different because it's been taken over by the plague. It's very cool. Nice change of pace. Let's take some honey. My blood sugar is a bit low. Uh, right, so the institute is up here. I was just a normal citizen. Yeah. Our own wee panic burn. They were just hanging out in the street. Save day your morning. <laughs> Ollie, look out. He's about to start fighting people. Who? Who's he? Ooh, there's a lot of flowers here. Really takes it out of your shoulders. I'll take healing related stuff anytime I can get it, although it's becoming less important. Look at this useless Bobby. Just standing around doing nothing while they're surrounded by zombies. You never liked me, did you? 
vengeance is mine. Uh, another the bloody Ranger. document. <laughs> How much? <laughs> <are you? laughs> You're gonna get what's coming to you. This is the only way. No, it's not the only way, but it's my way. I don't have any need to scavenge these cars. I do want to try to turn this damn thing off. This thing. What is that? Hostile take rover? What? Hmm? You are not authorized. Oh. Please clear the area immediately. Please step away immediately. Ooh. I want to see if I can turn this thing off. I'm reversing polarity this time. We'll zap your enemies for a little while. Oh, only for a little while? Hmm. Nah, eh, forget it. Nice to finally have one of those things disabled, even though it's huge and intimidating. It's just a single security box, just like anything else. Right. Still don't know what the hell Hostile Take Rover is. What the hell? Eh, whatever. I think we gotta go that way. Uh. Why is... Why did my uh, waypoint get created, like, deep underground? That's even deeper. What the hell? Whatever. It's this way. Uh. Somehow I grabbed that, went over, and actually ended up in the ground and couldn't move for a second. <laughs> what the hell's happening? Uh. I'm, so I'm sorry? Why can't I walk there? It's, there's literally an invisible wall. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. What? Wait, what? There's an invisible wall that I can jump over? Wait, I can walk through here, but not here. It's almost like there's no wall at all. It's just like there's an invisible thing, like an invisible object right here. Well, and then I can jump over or go around. Now it seems like there is a invisible wall. I don't know. I don't know the at all. The gate's open, Ollie. Can't you just not look at the telly? No, I can't just not look at the telly. They put one on every bloody corner. I'll tell you what I can do. I can blow up the bloody broadcast antenna at City Hall. That is the worst idea I've ever heard from you. What do you know? You're dead. Huh? I've got an answer for that, have you? Margaret. Margaret. Ah. So that was the incident that made them move out to the church slash train station place. Looks like a plague whistle did a number on this. 
Department of Senseless Idiotic Research. If anywhere's got hydrogen, it's these bampots. If not, I'm off to the executive committee to fill a bag with hot fucking air. <laughs> Where do they keep their hydrogen, do you think? <laughs> 